Mr. Wolf! You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something... Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. We have to go, now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. for bailing me out. Certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. There's two of them, Dee and Dunn. And they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. Let 
just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to... have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck! <gasps> so, this is how it's gonna be. Just tell me who your employer is. I can't tell you, and pushing me around isn't gonna change that. My brother and I work hard, and we keep our mouths shut. That's the deal. I forgot about your brother. Dumb, right? How appropriate. Where was your brother last night? Are you accusing him of something? What do you think? He didn't do it, if that's what you're getting at. He didn't kill her! You have no fucking right to keep me here. You have no evidence. Give me my stuff and let me go. What did you find on her? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. You have to... I'm saving that. Look at this asshole. Where's your brother, D? I don't know, okay? I haven't seen him since I left to go find Faith since we ran into you. But he didn't kill anybody, so you leave him alone. You don't call the shots here, D. You mentioned Faith. What about her? I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me there. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? I'm not telling you shit.
You always carry this much cash. I don't like banks. So what? Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your boss? Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. You just carry this around? It ain't illegal, is it? What the fuck? Big B, you shit! Last chance, B. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby. Beauty was wrong about you. You're just a sick- Beauty? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? You want to talk about Snow? You treated her like shit your whole career. Better take the blame for your incompetence. Now you can- What's going on down here? What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I... thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in a taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. No? What is it? I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Big B, I... I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose! I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. 
Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Oh, that's enough. Mira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. Will you do anything to hurt me, boy? It's okay. Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> Careful, Bigby. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. 
And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Did you see who it was? No. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. Bigby, he's frightened. Do you know whose voice it was? I don't know! I don't know! I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise! I want to go home. Okay. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <laughs> You want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. I didn't realize... Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine, it's just... a little... strange. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. Check her mouth? There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you... close her mouth? Thanks. It looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. 
The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. It's not you, Snow. It's just a body. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here, now that you're done smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic, though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Here. What does that mean? Oh. Is that... It's your hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. She looks like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... 
Oh no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was reported missing, but I, I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this, who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Both of you, listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? Ah. Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right, then. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. <sighs> oh. 
Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. That's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or... I don't know. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? <laughs> You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. 
where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here? Oh. My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Ah, for fuck's sake! What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit! Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that! Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face! You have to smile. You never smile! How many times do I- Hey! Oh, it's you! We're closed. Keep dancing, you! I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake! You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, this is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No. Seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. Strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fabletown. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? Tell me what I wanna know, or I'll shut this whole place down. Oh, no! Fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. I need to ask you a few questions. 
Prince just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property! <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Jesus, fuck! Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Was it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me! I'm begging you, I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Nate, leave it. There's nothing there for you. It's a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Lock's been busted open.
broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Wait here for a second. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for.
I should probably repair that. But if the rooms are anything like the lobby, I should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh. You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And. Thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... She came off a tad intimidating. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes. Nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but... She didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if... I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. 
This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing?! You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! This? Big B. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You- you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then- Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. We shouldn't even be in here. 
What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? God. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. <sighs> Poor girl. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it, to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... It sounds like there was a series of choices involved. I'm sure she'd have done things differently if she knew where things were headed. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. <sighs> How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long-term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here.
Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up... Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking? It doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. 